products of heritage grains increase diversity? In this presentation, we will just have a look on different packages and different products that have been created out of heritage grains in the Nordics. For example, from Sweden, some examples of sifted flour and then of uh, a whole grain flour, ecologically grown both. And uh, to the left you can see Öland's Landvete, so here is Britain, the sort, so it's Öland Landrace wheat. And uh, some more, these are both spelt or also called dinkel. You have uh, the whole kernel to the left of spelt and to the right you have a manna, a kind of bulgur. Here you can see uh, different uh, sorts and um, this way of showing up the cereals is an old uh, woman who were doing this at uh, Gotland Island in Sweden and uh, there is also made a recording of her doing it and after, after by looking on, on that one you could actually uh, reproduce this and make this similar for show. In Sweden there has been published a book about the treasure of Adre, where they found these many different diverse grains and the book's name is The Road to Gute Kurn. So they made a farmer association um, that started then to multiply the seeds of these old different cereal types. It's a book with mostly pictures and some ideas about how you could continue and go on with these heritage cereals. These are then the packages of uh, uh, gute corn uh, at the Gotland Island farmers to the left you have uh, uh, its uh, uh, whole uh, grain and it's from um, wheat with awns. And uh, then to the right it's the same, um, this heritage wheat with awns and it is the whole grain in that package. And this is then uh, spring spelt and sifted to the left and to the right it is uh, the whole uh, the whole kernel. And to the right and also to the far uh, left is the white emmer that was found at, at uh, Gotland Island. So that's the farmer there who are producing it. And you can see also that they have been making this kind of very flat bread uh, out of it as well. And uh, some other hard uh, bread is also produced um, of this white emmer. Uh, these are Norwegian packages. To the left you have uh, the slush and burn rye flour and to the right you have a Swedish land race uh, that is then milled very fine uh, and this is then produced in Norway and sold there. And uh, to the left you have einkorn and to the right you have emmer. Both are a whole kernel, whole kernel because a lot of these home bakers and artisan bakers they have own small mills and they want to buy the kernels because they are want freshly milled flour so the people do it themselves at home. Then packages from Gullimun in Norway. Here is uh, to the left is the 
up in the corner it is slush and burn rye flour and down it's from an old wheat sort from uh, Norway and then up in the right corner you have waffle flour so some years the growing conditions are so bad that you get so low falling number so you cannot actually use the flour for making nice high bread and then you could do it for making waffles And here is a really tasty uh, um, knäckebröd or tunnbröd is this. It's a kind of very thin bread traditionally baked in Norway. And uh, Melhus Bakery have been uh, developing this new product and used then a landrace uh, grain, so heritage grain for in baking them. Aurion Mill and Bakery is one of the forerunners in the Nordic countries and they have a broad um, product uh, family um, made out of heritage grains. There are porridges and mueslis, bread and buns, chocolate um, and uh, of course you can buy whole kernels and flour from them and also uh, different kinds of cakes. Here are examples from their mill and you can see here on the big photography from inside from their mill how they are storaging their grains. They have quinoa, they have uh, different kinds of uh, barley flakes, uh, kamut, uh, which is Corsan wheat, einkorn, durum. Uh, they have uh, uh, Öland wheat, which is from Sweden, but then cultivated also in, in Denmark. Uh, rye flakes, and of course they have also oat flakes, and they have uh, sifted rye emmer flour and whole kernels of oat is also sold and uh, then there is uh, this um, kind of uh, it calls uh, pearl uh, barley so it's round round barley pearls and here you can see that they are also selling in five kilos packages for those who are home bakers, then it's nice to buy it in a little bit bigger packages. And if I remember, uh, they have also even bigger than that packages, like 10 kilos that you could buy. And here is again from us, us, yeah, mainly the same we saw already. Here is also purple wheat flour that they have. So a wide range of different mixes. They have also developed a very nice family of uh, porridge grains or grain mixes and uh, they have very nice names for them. Uh, the first porridge to the left, it is a gluten-free porridge. The whole family name is the warm porridge. So these products belong to the warm porridge family. And uh, the yellow one here, it is uh, the greatest porridge of all age. And uh, the next one is the flat stomach porridge. And the next is always full stomach porridge. And then the happy stomach porridge. And then the last one, it, um, it's perhaps a bit difficult to translate into English. Uh, it is with when somebody have really a lot of speed on, like small children, they can really speed around. So this is kind of the speedy person's porridge. And here you can see then different uh, grains and uh, different forms, how they look like. So you can really do a lot out of heritage grains.
And uh, just one more example from Denmark. Uh, the package to the left is slash and burn rye. Then uh, with the red mark on in the middle, it's emmer wheat. And then to the right, it's iron corn. And here an example from Finland of broad beans. There are whole broad beans to the left and to the right they are um, peeled and then uh, halved, like put into a half. Malmgård be, being the biggest producer of heritage grains in Finland, they are mainly using, using these Swedish heritage grains and you can see that they have spelt oat, rye, uh, wheat and then they have landrace wheat, barley and emmer and uh, also uh, uh, this brassica oil. And, uh, they have also um, a lot of other products. So if you, for example, look now at wheat here, um, then they have this wheat in uh, sifted whole grain, uh, something to make buns and breads out. Um, a rice type that you could cook a rice off, uh, bulgar type, and then very the coarser parts of the of the flour, and then just normal uh, wheat uh, kernels. So of each um, species that they are selling, they have a wide range of different types of it that you can get it in. At Mango, they have also been trying to do talkuna, which is this uh, pre um, or it's a, a flour that is cooked and dried and roasted. And this they have made from different also species, from buckwheat, from wheat, from oat, from spelt, from ray and from emma. Malmgård has also actively been doing product development and testing different uh, heritage ray and uh, other grains as well as a whole. And here you can now see uh, three different. To the left is Sangaste rye, which is an old one from Estonia. And to the right is the Slash and Burn rye, Twengsberry. And also Schmidt rye, and, and uh, rye from German. And all, all of them were very much differing in, um, in the method of baking with it. And Finland's, one of Finland's spelt producers and the largest export producers of spelt is Birkala Farm in southwestern Finland. And they are then uh, specialized into spelt and selling it in many different forms. You can get it as whole grains. You can get it as uh, round. So it's a uh, made round form of it. And then you can get it as uh, coarse flour, flakes, uh, like um, um, only the, the spelt kernel flour from inside, and then manna, uh, made out of flour. So uh, similar this manna is to uh, bulgur, so you can make porridge out of it. And uh, then also some bread out of spelt.